Hello, it's Sarah. I've been playing with my clay. So I had a request, uh, don't remember, one of my subbies had asked me, did I apply the mica powders before baking or not? So I'm going to show that. But I also wanted to talk a bit about these um, art tiles that I'm making because the ones that I had shown previously, these were kind of um, inspired by a video that I saw. It was by Gabrielle Polico, and she's on YouTube, and the, it's called Mixed Media ATC Tutorial, and it's an awesome, she kind of just does it to music, and it's kind of speeded up. It's the whole process, um, a very good um, way for you to get the whole process of how you make these tiles. Um, then I was on Google, and I just entered in polymer clay art tiles, and I found a wonderful artist. Her name is Christina Capono. And if you go to claylessons.com, she has tutorials on there that you can pay for. Now, what is her website called? I'll put that in the um, description box because she has one and I can't think of the name of it. But she's not real active on it. It's her blog. And she, she I don't think she's really blogged on there for a long time. So... Um, but her work is amazing. So I did this one this morning and this is pretty much I copied off of hers I actually did the heart myself, but I just pulled up some of the pictures of her work on um, Google and um, Was kind of getting my inspiration from that she uses all these little beads of clay um, And these little swirls and then she puts the mica powders. I think the actual silver on here is um rub and buff but um she used these um cabochons that i had shown in the previous one these cabochons that i had used in my um flower uh, mosaics with the glass so i have them um i have actually kind of small ones and then you can buy these at like ac more these are um for like i guess you put them inside um vases and things um but anyway I was really pleased with this one. This one turned out pretty good. I put hope down there, a little charm. And it's, I don't think it's the exact size of an ATC. I kind of just cut it to size. And I mean, it was, I didn't take an exact measurement. So then this is another, this one's not baked yet. Another copy kind of of hers. This, the way she did the, the striping back and forth. But I put in the, the mirror and I just did this little charm that I had. So we'll see how that turns. I mean, it's pretty cute. But then what I'm going to work on now are these that I just created myself. I have this um, wooden, these are from um, Michael's and you can get, I think this might have came in the same set. Um, it, it was like flowers and bugs, I think. But I just took this wood piece because I have these like, um, these are by, um, not Sculpey, but another brand that um, they sell it. Um, Hobby Lobby, but anyway, and these have like textures on them. This is I'm gonna use this on my um what my elephant that I'm gonna make my Christy Friesen elephant. This is a screen stars cobblestone, and this is called sand. So those are um texture things. I actually use the cobblestone in the background of this, and you can kind of see it in the background. So it gives it gives the mica powder something to stick to. But for these, I just pressed this um, flower into the clay several, I think three times. By the time I got to this one, I decided to make little leaves to go on there too. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and put my mica powders on now to show you how I do that. Um, you can really just use your finger. I have, um, these are the um, Pearl X. I have the Pearl X, I got that for 50% off at Michael's one time because they're kind of expensive and I do have the perfect pearls. I'm going to use the perfect pearls blue for my background right now. So I'm just dipping a brush. I'm going to move this up a little so you can get in the shot here. Dip this little, it's like a, a flat brush um, because you don't want a ton but I'm going to do this for the background. Just kind of color the background blue so that it's kind of like sky. I didn't want to do too much green because I'm gonna do the leaves green. I'm gonna do the flowers like a pink, I think. So I just wanted to put a little blue 
in the background. These little circles that I did were just with a pen. I think it's this pen right here. Just pulled a pen out of my um, my thingy and I just kind of pushed down some pen marks, some circle marks, um, just for some texture because there wasn't any texture in the background of this one. I didn't do anything beforehand to give it any texture. <laughs> so that's the blue. I'm just gonna leave that for now. Um, let's do the green. I'm, I'm curious to see what this green is going to look like on the leaves. Um, I have used my finger in the past, but when I watched the Gabrielle Polico um, tutorial, she was using a brush and it kind of seemed cool and you don't get as messy. So I'm just going to use the brush and see what it's like. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try my finger too and see. Because I think, see, it comes out much brighter when you push, when you touch it with your finger. So I'm going to use my finger. And it's really just, the clay just grabs it um, on the parts that, oh, actually it went into the nooks and crannies too. I'm going to do these little things green. I thought I was going to do them gold though. I might do them gold. But the green's pretty. So these are just little, um, these swirlies are just little rolled up clay that you just kind of swirl into a pattern and um, lay it down and then when it bakes actually it didn't stick like on this one this one no this one I noticed this is kind of coming up like that is not stuck onto the cabochon but it's holding on because it it kind of it did adhere to the clay to the tile so it's okay but um, that's why I think I would like to take a tutorial because I want to see how they actually finish this stuff and everything too I know that they people glaze them and everything so I'm gonna use some pink and some um, purple for the flowers so I'm gonna use my finger cuz I'm I'm going around the um, tripod so I want to see how that picks up this pink is so bright and then after I baked it because of, of these cabochons and stuff I just took a wet wipe and wiped the cabochons clean and everything in the um, beads because it all the powder will come off um, the glass and everything and the and the like see I have like um, bead findings in here too these little flowers and this is like a, um, a spacer bead so actually I don't know if I'm gonna use the purple I just might keep it like this it's not very bright this one um, let's see I think if I, I might want to add, I could add gold. Let me add a little gold because it just looks so pretty. The gold is so pretty. I think I'll add it just like here and there. I'm going to move this a little bit so it's to the side. Um, I might just want to put it in the nooks and crannies a little. See how bright it is? It's so pretty. I just want to put it some places. like in the see that really shows up that gold that's why I like it maybe just up against the um, the vines that looks pretty <laughs> where else is that good that's kind of even right I wonder if my lights too bright it's kind of reflecting all right so I have another one I'm gonna go away and come back all right, I don't know if I just recorded that, um, but so I, I'm going to just add a few, a few of these with a little dent just to add a little extra texture and then we're going to color. So let's color. All right, I have my brush. I'm going to do this one. I actually took this. It's, um, a metal corner piece and I pressed this down into the, this piece to make the leaves um, this one I just used curly cues all over I didn't use any leaves and this one I just used curly cues and a few like I made the flowers much closer together so you know what I'm gonna use purple on this one let's use a little purple I love these colors let's see if it 
see it is, it's just picking up the raised areas. And I'm going to make all the flowers purple. So most of it, because that this one has mostly flowers. And then I'm going to do the centers gold. I just love this gold. And it pops so nice. And that way it'll like, it'll tie in with the rest of the, like if I were to use these tiles together on a piece, then it, it has um, blending, like, you know, where it goes together. So that's kind of really plain. I'm going to take the blue again and just do the background a little bit. Actually, green would probably be good. That that, that kind of does look green. I could tap into the green a little bit too. around the centers. That's actually kind of pretty. So let's move on to this little one here. Um, make him pink. And do these leaves green. put green all over actually and I put a little um, hummingbird bead there but I know a lot of people do gl they glaze their tiles and they glaze their pieces so I'm curious about that stuff um because I've never done it I would love to see a video on it and um, that way I feel more confident when I do it myself if I've worked on a tile I don't want to just like um, mess it up after all the work you put in when I glaze it so I would want to see exactly how so that's pretty now we'll do this one let's see um, I think I'm going to do all of the poppy uppy stuff I should do it you know what I'm going to do green in the background let's do green in the background and I'll do gold on all the little swirlies and um, bubbles and dots and stuff. We'll do green in the background. I also have the um, Lemure, Jacquard Lemure paints. Those are actually fabric paints, but they're metallic too. And I know that people are using them on their polymer clay as well. So I'm going to explore that a little bit because I have um, my Christy Friesen pieces that I want to do. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of going in the back. I can just stick the brush in and it'll get in between that. Because um, I guess I could actually put the color on before I um, put the little swirlies on. And that way I know I have. Or it might not stick as well either though. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm learning and I'm just sharing what I'm learning as I go. So, but this is how I, I was successful, I think, with the first one I did. So I just wanted to share. Um, what other color? You know what? Yellow? No, not yellow because the gold. I think I'm, I don't know what color to make my flowers. I think I'm going to do pink again. Pink is pretty. I'll bake these and then I'll finish the video and show you what they turned out like after I bake them. So um, you can, so I can touch them and see really what uh, I'm going to do a little gold now on all those um, swirlies and the little dots that stick up. 
and you can kind of if you get it on other areas I've noticed that you can go back with the other color and you can cover up so if I get gold on my flowers see that looks pretty the gold is just really vibrant I have another color gold this is actually yellow bright yellow I have antique something copper um so yeah I, can, I think I want to put a little gold around the edges of this one here and there just kind of through it that looks good so yeah I'm just um kind of playing figuring this out today my husband went to Alaska he has uh work he works for the FAA so he had to go to Alaska but these are pretty so I'm gonna um, bake these and I'll be back all right I'm back um I'm gonna just say uh, I have a, the Sculpey pasta machine, but that's an awesome tool for you beginners out there. I mean, you can just roll your clay on your um, craft mat, and it's fine. You need to get it warm and um, so it gets nice and soft. This is actually, uh, I think this is the Primo, but this was some clay that was just open that I grabbed because I have a bunch of clay here that's unopened, but I figured let me... Um, this kind of was like, while I'm getting a feel for it again, just use the clay I had. And it was kind of um, crumbling. It was really crumbling. But now that it's warm, it's starting to like, uh, and this was like um, a purple metallic, a bronze, and a gold, I think. So this is the pasta machine. It, uh, the Sculpey pasta machine. And I'm just going to put this in here. And you just turn it. And I think this is on a fairly thin um setting and this is what i've been using for my tiles so that's how thin it is and i mean you can you don't need a pasta machine you can roll it out um with a rolling pin and that's what laurie micah did when i took her class she just uses a rolling pin so i figured while that's baking i'll just um make another one here because i i really am happy with those that i just made now i have this cookie cutter and this is kind of what I used the last time, and I have this little one. I think I'm going to make a little one this time. Um, but what I did first was, because when you push this stuff into the clay, it squishes it out. So if I was to cut it first and use the shape as a square, it would get uneven, and the square would get wonky, I call it. Um, so I liked, I did it, uh, now I can't see my, you know what's so funny? My desk is just covered in stuff, and I can't find anything. It's like... It's so annoying. Oh, there it is. Hello. <laughs> I saw, too, a really cool... I've just been watching polymer clay videos lately, and I saw a brayer that's an acrylic... It's an acrylic brayer, and I think I want to get that because that's just like... And, and I mean, you don't really need it. I, You know what? I'm just crazy. I don't really need it. So, all right. I'm going to just push this into the clay using this... It's not acrylic. This is just a plastic... And that didn't even come out, but you know what? I don't care because I'm going to use this, and I'm going to probably not even use the whole thing. I'm going to um, take this little tool right here. This is a Sculpey tool, I think, but I like the, uh, the tip of this, and I go into each um, leaf area, and then I do two to join them and make that texture. And I'm not worried about that side because I'm going to cut this. But I want to make some leaves. So, you know what? I think I am going to cut it now because I am um, looking over my camera. That is really not good, actually. I'm going to have to go back over it. I'm gonna, I want to get the impression to come back on this side. Oops, now I have a double impression over there. Shit. Oops, excuse my French. <laughs> There's no cussing on YouTube, Sarah. All right, that's fine. I like that better. I'm working around this. I'm going to move it again. Um, so, I'm going to cut this now. Leaving room for some leaves. And I'm going to use the leftover clay for um, 
Don't fall, tripod. So that's the tile, and you got to kind of move it, keep picking up. See, it already got wonky a little bit just from picking it up. But I like that impression. Then I'm going to put it on this tile because I have to bake this tile anyway. But I like to actually, once I've got the, the tile cut, put it on um, this tile cut. I put it on here to, to play with it because then I can just pick, up, pick it up and put it in the oven. So I'm just using this clay to make some leaves. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna squish this out with my finger. And, oh, you can't see me. I have this little tiny cookie cutter that of course is, oh, here it is. So I bought this set um, probably at Michael's. I, I really, I shop at Michael's quite a bit. So my tripod is falling, okay. But there's all types of little shapes in here. These are tiny. So I have hearts, a star. So they would be fun to play with. But right now I'm just working on this one design that I created. I think I'm going to do two leaves. So that's one. And I'll show you how I get the lines in it too. So I'm just going to... And I don't mind my fingerprints or anything right now. Um... So I'm going to take these. This one's actually a little thick. I like the thickness of this one better. And I'm going to position it. Actually, I don't want it to be... I don't know. I mean, coming off the tile. See, I cut it. You know what? I put these on the last time. And then I cut the tile. And that's why, like, it came... Uh, I'm going to squish this down a little. I want it thinner. So I'm going to recut it. Just easier to um, maneuver when it's thinner and I'm gonna put this one right here and then I took this little tool I actually know this one and this is a Christy Friesen tool I bought the stainless steel ones of course I had to you know so I'm gonna turn this oopsie this way and just kind of push in and pull up and push in and that one's even still thick but I like it and make these little veins. I'm really happy with this because this is actually, oops, my design. So, I mean, it makes me happy that I actually thought of something myself. I'm going to take another one of Christie's tools, this one. I don't know what it is. It's, you know what, I think it's, I, that's not it either. There's another one. Why can you never find anything on your own desk when you... Oh, here it is. This one. It just has, it's like a scalpel thing and stuff. I mean, it's really cool. But like this, I can kind of push the, the leaf into the piece and make it like connect to the leaf. I don't know if that looks good or not. I like it. All right. This is still kind of fat, this leaf. I don't like it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it again. But that's okay because I'm going to make it thinner. I just like them thin. I don't know why. Let me see if that's thin enough. Yeah, that looks nice and thin. My fingers are getting it dirty too because I have mica powder all over my fingers. And they're getting all like different colors. So I need to oh, go back this way. And just push it in and make the line. And I would like to bend it a little, like give it a little shape like that, pinch it a little, curve it. Um, and then I'll use this fancy thing and just push down, make sure it sticks. All right, so now I have that, but I really like these curly Q things. They just look super cute, and I really do like the, um, the little ball dots that she used too, um, Christine Capano because um, it just is something to give it dimension and um, I'm gonna use that. I also need something for the center of my flower. I have a heart. Should I put a heart this time? Yes, I like the heart. Push that down, but see it might make it wonky when you push, eh, it didn't come out too far, but I like that. All right, I'm gonna go away and come back.